I am not making this video by my own free will. The words I speak, I speak by my own free will, but that is all. This camera, I cannot and could not hope to assemble. This electricity, I cannot and could not hope to generate. I will soon upload this onto a computer that I certainly cannot assemble. I will edit it with software that I barely understand, and then I will upload it onto YouTube, a large network that I could never hope to create. For that reason, I do not act by my own free will, but I am one of many actors in many collectives who make far greater products, far more efficiently, than any of us could ever hope to make acting as individuals. My will, therefore, is subject to these entities. My will is subject to the camera manufacturer, to the computer manufacturer, the software engineer, and of course to YouTube, now owned by Google. There are no constitutional limits that we could place on government that could change that, nor could we hope to change that by completely dissolving government. Now, you might say in response, but you don't have to make videos. You could choose not to make videos. Well, that is true. I could choose not to make videos. I cannot choose, however, to be without food. I cannot choose to be without water. And it would be highly impractical of me to try to choose to be without clothing or shelter. Because I am a human being, because I am vulnerable to the elements, I have certain necessities in life and I am not able to create these necessities on my own. My freedom, therefore, is limited and is subject to those who control these necessities. For that reason, freedom is not measured solely by how many limits we place on government. Freedom is measured by our ability to make choices without losing the necessities of life. As Franklin Roosevelt once said, the necessitous man is not a free man. 